Celebrity Encounters. Hey guys, today's episode is all about the Beckhams. That's world famous soccer player David Beckham and his wife, former Spice Girl, Victoria Beckham, or Posh Spice. For those of you that watched the last episode, I showed you my poster I won of Britney Spears at the Sandwich Fair back in 1999. That's Britney. Great poster of Britney. Well, the year before that, in 1999, eight, 1998, I won this beautiful poster of the Spice Girls. Now, I had this poster hanging in my apartment until I moved to Hollywood in 2002. Now, I had it up kind of as a joke. Um, I was really into heavy metal and alternative music at the time. So when people came over and they saw the Spice Girls and Britney poster, they're like, what's going, on? what's going on with that? So it was kind of as a joke. But anyway, it still was, a, and, and because, of course, I thought the Spice Girls were hot, so why not post, put them up in my apartment? Um, at the time, Victoria Beckham was my favorite Spice Girl. But that would change after some terrible encounters with the Beckhams once I moved to Hollywood. I thought Posh Spice was just a character Victoria was playing. But it turns out she really is a rich, spoiled brat. I'm going to tell you about my unpleasant experiences with the Beckhams and David's dangerous driving techniques. Let's find out why David and Victoria Beckham suck. David Beckham came to America to play soccer for the LA Galaxy in 2007 with his wife, Victoria, better known as Posh Spice. My first encounter with Victoria was in 2003, before the Beckhams moved to Los Angeles. Posh was leaving a club when I tried to get her photo. As soon as I lifted my camera to get a shot, one of her security guards came out of nowhere and grabbed the lens of my camera. He held a tight grip on it until Victoria was in her SUV. The guy squeezed so hard on the lens, I thought he was going to break my camera. That bodyguard was the first person to get physical with me since I moved to Hollywood. I didn't really know how to handle the situation at the time. I ended up getting in an argument with the guy and missed getting a shot of Victoria. I wanted to call the police, but no damage was done to my camera, and I wasn't injured. This left a bad taste in my mouth about Victoria and how she handles fame, but I was hopeful she would change my mind in the future. The next encounter was at Nobu in Malibu in the summer of 2007. Security allowed me to get some shots of Victoria as long as I stayed back and gave her space. I was completely fine with that. Those security guys seemed reasonable on that night. The Beckhams had a team of security with them at all times, and if they didn't really want to have their picture taken, security would do everything possible to make sure that didn't happen. Unfortunately for me, most of the time, the Beckhams didn't want their photo taken, which made my job harder than it needed to be. This is the closest thing to a smile I would get from Victoria during my paparazzi career, and the only time Victoria looked at my camera. The problem with the pictures I took here is that they ended up being pretty worthless because Victoria had just come from the MTV Movie Awards where she was photographed all night in the same outfit. That's probably why the security didn't mind me taking her photo. My next encounter came one month later at the Little Door restaurant. This was my first time seeing the couple together. Victoria kind of had a look of shock on her face as she leaves the restaurant and sees the number of paparazzi there. They have two security guards on either side of them this night. This is my favorite picture of David. I'm not afraid to admit, he's a pretty good looking guy, and I dig his outfit. I, however, don't like his tattoo. Not because the tattoo artist did a bad job, but it lacks originality. I understand that it might have some special meaning to him, but one thing I see tattooed on people's bodies the most are wings. I'm so over wings, especially on the back around the shoulder blades. I thought the whole idea of getting a tattoo was to have something unique. There is nothing more common than wing tattoos. I mean, look at all these t wing tattoos. There's even a wing tattoo tram stamp. I could go on a tr tattoo rant for a long time here, but I'm going to shut up and get back to the Beckhams. This is the first of many nights where the Beckhams don't smile for photos. One month later, I would encounter the Beckhams again, this time at the Sunset Tower Hotel. I was waiting at the valet stand of the hotel when the couple pulled up. I took a couple pictures of them in their SUV. They were obviously surprised to see me and not happy. David sat there for a few seconds contemplating getting out of the car, but then decided to take off. As he sped out of the hotel, he came within inches of hitting me. This would be the first of three different occasions where he almost ran me over. The couple headed to the back of the hotel where they could sneak in. When they came out, they had a team of bodyguards to stop me from getting photos. They did everything in their power to block my shots, like goalies blocking a goal. Sending these two goons after me, and this idiot using his jacket to block my shots. I was by myself. There wasn't a huge group of paparazzi there. I could understand sending these knuckleheads after me if it was a huge group of aggressive paparazzi and the couple felt like they were in danger. But it was just me. I was by myself. There wasn't a huge group. 
but that didn't stop them from sending the goon squad after me. Once the couple got to their SUV, David gunned it out of the parking lot again, nearly hitting me and his own bodyguard. A couple months later, also in 2007, David showed up to Mastro's restaurant without Posh Spice. When he came out of the restaurant, his eyes, or I guess in this picture, his one eye, looked a little glassy, like he may have had a few cocktails. As he walked out, he had his security point flashlights at me and my camera to ruin my shots. Such an asshole move. And for what? What is he trying to hide? I mean, I just don't get it. As he's trying to leave, some girl wants a photo or something, but David ignores her like she's a peasant. The girl takes the hint and walks away. David then comes close to hitting me for a third time when he sped off leaving the restaurant. You can see David's passenger with a look of concern on his face as David accelerates rapidly. When most people pull out of valet stands or other parked locations, they slowly drive off. Not David. He likes to put the pedal to the metal as he leaves. After that, I learned my lesson and stayed far from the front of the Beckham's automobiles. I saw him almost run over another paparazzo with his dangerous driving method when leaving Nobu on a different occasion. I thought for sure David was going to injure or kill someone with his dangerous play behind the wheel. When I left Hollywood in 2010, I didn't hear about any accidents involving David. But as I was making this episode, I did some research. And guess what? In 2011, David was involved in a car crash on the 405 freeway in Los Angeles. Beckham's black Cadillac crashed into the back of a gold Mitsubishi, which was broken down in the carpool lane. Then, in 2013, Beckham pulled out of his Beverly Hills driveway and into the street, hitting a white Acura that passed by with his son in the car. I wonder if he flew out of the driveway like I've seen him blast out of valet stands at restaurants. Question mark. Then David and his son were involved in another car crash in London suburb in 2014. Luckily, no one was seriously injured in these accidents. He also recently got speeding and parking tickets. And just last year, he was banned from driving for six months for using a cell phone while driving. I hope David has finally learned his lesson and takes driving a little more seriously, especially when you have children in the car, David. David needs to give up drag racing and stick to kicking a soccer ball around. Here's the Beckhams arriving at Giorgio Baldi restaurant in 2008. At this point, I'm sick of the Beckhams. I'm standing outside the restaurant when they arrive. I better get out of the way because look who's driving! The Beckhams picture wasn't worth much money in the United States. Their photos sold better in the UK and almost everywhere else in the world. The Beckhams snuck in and out of the back door of the restaurant, leaving me with these car shots. Of course, they have to pull down the visors in the car almost every time. God forbid anybody see their faces. Here's a great shot of the back of their heads. I seriously put little effort in these photos because I was so sick of the Beckham's attitude. Later that year, I caught David leaving STK restaurant without posh spice. Here he is leaving the restaurant after sneaking out the back. I really wish he would hire a driver. The world would be a lot safer place without David behind the wheel. But for some reason, David insists upon driving. My final Beckham encounter was at Giorgio restaurant in 2009. This time it was just Victoria and security drove the car meaning I was a lot less likely to get run over. And for the grand finale, Victoria had her security give me all of their favorite tricks to avoid being photographed. First, sneak out the back door. Then, bodyguards, point your flashlights into the camera. Don't forget to put those visors down. And use your arms to block your face, Victoria, so you don't get photographed. It's just unbelievable. This is not how you handle fame. It looks like this time Victoria may have had a reason for not getting photographed. Her face looks a little red, like maybe she just had a face peel or something. I would understand not wanting to get photographed if that was the case. Why can't Victoria be more like her Spice Girl bandmate, Mel B? Mel B knows how to handle fame and has fun with it. Check out these pictures I took of Scary Spice over the years. Here she is smiling outside Foxtail Nightclub. Here she is joking around with a paparazzi. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I think the paparazzi asked... Mel B a question she didn't like, and she went over to have a little talk with him. She, but she did it in a fun way, not angry or mean about it. Here she is again, could care less about being photographed. This is Scary Spice arriving at Hyde Nightclub in 2007, looking amazing and with no security. Here's another night at Hyde Nightclub in 2007, enjoying life without the burdens of worrying about getting her picture taken. And here she is again, all smiles leaving STK in 2008. Before I moved to Hollywood, Posh was probably my favorite Spice Girl, but after my Hollywood encounters, Scary is my favorite now. I'm not sure David and Victoria are even happy. They look so miserable in all my photos. The Beckham's treasure trove of ways not to get photographed is ridiculous. 
They have two to five security guys obstructing my shots with their bodies and pointing flashlights into my camera lens. If that doesn't work, they get physical by grabbing my camera lens to stop me from getting shots. The Beckhams didn't stop there. They would sneak in and out of the back doors of restaurants, they would pull down their sun visors in their vehicles, and Victoria would use her hands and arms to block her face. All that stuff is enough for me to dislike the Beckhams, but the real kicker, pun intended, is that David almost ran me over on three different occasions. So because of David's dangerous play behind the wheel, and the couple's constant obstruction of photos, I think the Beckhams suck. All right, folks, that's it for the Beckham episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't enjoy taking photos of them, but at least you got to see some of my misery um, during that time. All right, the next episode is called Celebrity Happy Hour. It's going to be pictures I took of celebrities drinking, drunk, and partying. So every picture is going to be, they're going to have a drink in their hand, they're going to be drunk, or they're going to be partying. So check out the next episode, Celebrity Happy Hour. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe.